UBTH. The youths of today do not understand those they are dealing with. They are dealing with old warriors, old oligarchists who know how to fight. One of the things they are going to do is that they are going to use fear. Fear and intimidation. They might roll the army out very soon and they will shoot a few youths dead to intimidate others to run into their shells. The next thing they will do is to start arresting people piecemeal by piecemeal. They will target somebody, arrest that person, target another person, arrest another person, and before you know it, fear will start creeping into the system. Then the next thing they do is assassination. Remember Kudirat? They will start eliminating people one after the other. Remember Kokori, from Kokori, and the rest that they, are, they, that they are arrested during the Nupen crisis, during June 12 crisis. They will start eliminating people one after the other, either by assassinating them, by imprisoning them. They will drive them out of the country. Remember Nadeko, they will run into exile. But if you don't give up, some of those oppressing people today are beneficiaries of the struggle of people like Enauro and the rest others who did not benefit much from the struggle. And so, they will want to fight back. Another system they use is to get hungry young men and individuals who are instruments that suffer from the Stockholm Syndrome, I told you. Remember Abacha's crisis? There was one young Igbo boy. I wonder, I can't remember, I think it's Kanu that established one group. They went to Abuja, held conferences, held rallies to support Sani Abacha. But that was a great mistake they made. When they took Ijo boys, boys from the Niger Delta, to Abuja, and they saw the beautiful houses in Abuja that were built with their oil money, they did not know they were provoking a crisis they could not manage. That was how men and other people came up, and then amnesty eventually came. The next thing they will do is that they will start settling some of the leadership. They will corner them, settle them, give them offices and all that, give them money, give them promises, and then you will see people antagonizing each other. The next one they will do, and they are already doing it, is to play the North-South game. I saw some young men in the North with calves. They say they are youths. They say that they want SAS. They want SAS. I agree with you. It's a democratic setting. You have crisis in the North. But let me tell you, if the army could not defeat Boko Haram, SAS cannot defeat Boko Haram. Let me tell you the truth. Those young men or whoever who came with long caps, they are not the poor of the North. When I recorded here, they were Northerners digging ridges for me. The poor of the North have no voice. They don't come on radio. They don't come on television. They can't even speak English. Let me tell you one thing. If you are in the North, they use you to fight your youths in the South. Poverty will not leave the North immediately. Poor education will not leave the North immediately. It is only the children of the rich that will benefit. Let me tell you another thing they will do. I saw some people in Sapele, people from my area, old irresponsible men saying that we want SAS. We want SAS. Maybe they don't have children who drive cars. Maybe they don't have children who have gone to universities. But the point remains, one day intimidation will come to them. If you support a tiger, if you feed a tiger, it will eventually eat you. The other system is that if they don't use the, the, the regional card, they will use the religious card. They will say it is Christians that are protesting. They will say it is Southern Christians that are protesting against the North. That is the divide and rule technique. It will not work in this era because in my time, there was no social media. There were no handphones. Today, everything is captured live. Today, the global arena is observing us and they are watching us. I want to suggest that the international community, United States of America, the UK, France, they should be watching. Any oppressor, deny him and his children visa. Seize his assets overseas. Don't let them travel to, the, to your countries to come and enjoy democracy while they are killing us here. Seize their assets. Let's lock down these criminals of this nation. Inside this nation with us, we will see who will survive. God bless you. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. The battle is just beginning. God bless you.